In this session, we are going to discuss more machine, the more machine or more model. So let us go for the text here. A more machine is a six tuple. So in the earlier video, we have discussed milli machine. So that machine was also having six tuples. So here it is six tuples and Q sigma delta delta lambda and Q zero. So here Q is a finite set of states. Sigma is a finite set of input alphabets. Delta is a finite set of output alphabets. Delta is the transition function which maps Q cross sigma into Q. That means one of the states from capital Q and one of the input symbols from sigma. That will guide me to the one of the symbols to this particular one of the symbols from this particular set of states capital Q. And this cross means actually we are doing all possible combinations. We are doing the Cartesian product between the set members of capital Q and set members of sigma. So here you are considering all possible combinations of Q elements and sigma elements and they will be mapped to one of the members of this Q. Lambda is the output function mapping Q into sigma. So that is the difference with the Mille machine. So here we had in case of Mille machine. Q cross sigma maps into delta, but here depending upon the present state, the output will be decided not on the input. That means the present state will decide the output and that has been defined here also. Lambda is the output function. We have written that output at the tth instant that is at the current instant will be lambda that is the output function of Q of t. So that is the basic difference between Mille machine and Mohr machine. Depending upon the state, we are going to get the output irrespective of the current input. And Q0 is the initial state and Q0 belongs to capital Q. Okay, now let me go for one example that will make our conception more clear. So please consider this more machine. We are having this present states, we are having this next states delta. So for input a is equal to 0 and for input a is equal to 1. So these are the next states we are having and these are the outputs. So just consider for Q0, irrespective of the current input, output will be 0. For Q1, irrespective of the current inputs, output will be 1 and that is the basic thing in case of Moore machine. So now Q is a finite set of states, so it is consisting of these states. Sigma is a finite uh, set of input symbols, so it is having this one. And then we are having this delta that is the output symbols. This is my delta for the transitions. So Q00 will map into Q0, Q00 will map into Q2 rather and Q01 will map into Q0. So Q01 will map into Q0. So in this way I could have de declared for the rest 6 delta. So this is a delta function and that is my lambda function. So lambda function means it will decide the output. So lambda of Q0 will have 0, lambda of Q0 will have 0 and lambda of Q1 will have 1. So in this way I could have declared the other 2 and Q0 is the initial state it has been marked as initial state which belongs to capital Q yes it belongs to capital Q. So in this way a more machine we have defined here. In the next sessions we will be dealing how to convert milli to more and more to milli and other problems on this particular two machines. Thanks for watching this video.